So welcome to another walking video and today we're at Kitts Beach. So Kitts Beach is super popular, probably the busiest beach in Vancouver and that's because it's also very very beautiful. So I like to come down here quite a lot, just walk along the waterfront. I know that Popper came down here a lot as well and walked along so it's quite cool to think about that. But you have a view out into the Pacific Ocean and then down that way is what's called Howell Sound and it's the southernmost fjord in North America and if you drive up and up that way it's uh, Whistler. And then you can see one ski field up there which is Cypress Mountain, um, that's Stanley Park and then up here is Grouse Mountain and behind these trees there's another mountain called Seymour so three snow fields within view of Vancouver which is just great and down here we just brought a little picnic for our dinner it's still quite cold hence the puffer jacket <laughs> it's uh, May the 1st today and it's about 7 30 p.m. Um, but yeah it's still quite cold but we bought some poke bowls nice picnic blanket and we're just enjoying it waiting for the sunset in about 40 minutes so if you haven't noticed already there's a lot of ships currently at anchor in the port so there are all kinds of ships there's container vessels there's bulk ships that carry coal, um, grain, ore, things like that. Vancouver is a very, very busy port city. Um, it's the third busiest in North America, West Coast. I know this obviously because I work in that for my job every day. And yeah, after I eat my dinner, then we'll take a walk down this way. Um, walk past the volleyball over to the rest of Kitts Beach and by then we should also have a nice view of downtown which is just behind here and just to quickly point out I drove my BMW today nice and clean for you okay see you after dinner Okay, so we just finished our dinner that we're sitting in there, packed it away in the BMW, and now we're going to take a walk down the beach. So there's tons of volleyball courts, you just bring your own net and you can play. Um, there's also basketball, so basketball is quite popular here. Yeah, it's just different sports in Canada and New Zealand obviously on the beach you'll normally see cricket or rugby balls being kicked around but here you see basketball and volleyball um, there's other ones called spike ball which is like you put a little net it's like volleyball on the ground lots of people playing that normally too um, but yeah it's just popular for all sorts um, this path right here is also a biking path um, and it goes all the way to the city and all the way to UBC which is the university um, it's also surrounded by lovely nature lots of different trees um, and yeah just lots happening around here Again, it's Saturday night right now. It's about 8 p.m. Um, so it's quite late. People still playing. It's just always great for people watching as well. Um, Ashley and I always sit on one of these chairs and just guess what um, number date people are on. It's a very popular first date or second date spot to take a walk along Pitts Beach. 
Yeah. Yeah, we came on one of our first dates too. It's just, uh, it's got everything. There's, um, this building here is a restaurant as well, um, bar, so you can go up and have a beer or get a coffee or even have a full dinner if you want. Nice playground here. Um, oh, that's my core. So that's what I was talking about earlier. See, it's like a little net on the ground, and uh, you play with a little ball. So, yeah, that's really good to play in in the summer too. Ashley just ahead. Again, dogs are friendly on this beach too. Um, so that's the restaurant I was talking about. All upstairs there is a restaurant. Um, got your public toilets there, always very clean. I don't know if we've been to that restaurant. No, we haven't actually been to the restaurant. But I always see people there. Um, these chairs are an art installation actually. You never actually see people sitting on them, but today they are. And just around here is the tennis courts. So I've played tennis here a few times. Um, a member of my club who I've played lives around Kits, so we've jumped on the courts and it's just first come first serve. Uh, and if someone else shows up then you have 30 minutes and then you have to get off after 30 minutes and they go on so they're always pretty uh, popular too and then see these blue bikes I'll zoom in here all these blue bikes they're like able to be rented by the minute actually they're not electric you have to pedal yourself um, but there's bike stations all around Vancouver so it's also a very good idea to uh, get a bike and ride around because we can go biking when you come yes all of this all of these things that we're showing you we're gonna be doing when you guys come in just over a year's time so I'm sure dad you're gonna watch these a few times <laughs> so when you come here yourself it will seem very familiar mom i hope you watch them too they are for both of you well they're for the whole family really um i just know that dad in particular likes watching these walking videos <laughs> but hey because i'm talking maybe it's different you'll watch it too mom yeah so this is also the headquarters of Lululemon worldwide and their main headquarters is just down the road so that's where Ashley will be working. She goes into the office for the first time on Monday so in just one day's time and yeah see how that is for her. Two years without going into the office. <laughs> so we're just at the end of the beach now. Again it's a popular hangout site. Um, see lots of people sitting around and as I said there's downtown kind of as you come around the trees you can start seeing all of downtown so we're just gonna finish walking up to the public pool here beautiful place and um, when it gets warmer this grass area as well is completely full of people uh, everyone brings barbecues is this where you um, hurt your knee you fell off your bike no that was sunset beach okay yeah just forget about that <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so in summer uh this whole grass area is completely full as well if you don't want to sit on the sand and get um, sand and all your food. Again, normally this 
is open and you can walk along the water but it's closed because I think I was in New Zealand but around December there was a huge storm um, with massive king tides and uh, the water literally ripped away the walkway and they still haven't repaired it. That's also a reason why there's no water in this pool as you will see soon. The bottom of the pool, it's a salt water pool and the bottom was damaged in that storm and over winter it's just it's not empty because it just fills with rain so they didn't actually know it was empty I mean broken until they emptied the pool and found lots of cracks just a few weeks before they're meant to open so Kit's pool is not opening in 2022 again hello just, just thought I'd film us so you can see us as we walk towards the final stop on this walking tour. This here is a concession stand. Um, it opens in summertime. You can buy ice creams and everything like that. So we're just coming out to the end of Kit's Pool. Very classic windmill up there. And looking out. First, we'll take you from this side. Uh, there's an uh, amph amphitheater there with like an outdoor stage, concert area. Depending on what night of the week you come, there is different free music and dancing events. Here's the pool. This pool here is the biggest uh, pool in North America, I believe. And you get a full 180 degree view of the mountains and Vancouver. So you can see it only just starts here in downtown. It goes all the way up here and all the way down here, all the way behind here. It's quite a long city, if that makes sense. Yeah, this is probably the best spot to watch sunset in Vancouver. Um, sunset's still around 40 minutes away, so we won't be staying there today. But I hope this video has given you a first glimpse into Kitts Beach. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Love from Aaron and Ashley.